So it's time for another edition of Let's Fake a Deal. And we start with the guy that might be named the catcher on that 2020 All MLB team, JT Real Muto, who turns 30 in March. Kevin hit 266 with an OPS of 840 last year with the Philadelphia Phillies. Is he right now the best catcher in the game, in your opinion? Yeah, he is. He's that's that complete athlete. I know in high school he's like four stars in every sport, seems like. Everything, including gymnastics. Yeah. Let's just go there. But he's one of those guys that's just a freak of nature and a big old, big old stud. And when I tell you where the stud's going to go, Chris, you're going to go, where do you have him going? I got him going to New York, the New York Mets, that is, because their biggest needs uh, need is catching. And when you think about a catcher and somebody make a fan base happy, like Stevie Cohen said, JT, welcome to the Mets. Uh, you know what? You're, you're, you're in the right neighborhood again. I like him in the National League East. I don't have him returning to Philly. I don't have him going to Queens. I have him going to Washington. That's right. They let Anthony Rendon walk wow. out the door for nothing a year ago, and it hurt their offense. I know they've spent a ton of dough on their pitching and everything. They have some big contracts. They're going to have to pay Trey Turner and Juan Soto coming up in the next few years. But you want a guy that can not only manage a pitching staff, but drive in some runs. JT Real Muto is your guy complete catcher all right let's move from the catcher to the closer position uh one of the guys out there available on the free agent market is alex colome who turns 32 on new year's eve all right that's gonna be a good party uh 42 for 46 and save opportunities over the last two seasons on the south side of chicago kevy's not exactly a strikeout guy but he is really really good he gets people out yeah, he gets people out, Chris, and he saves baseball games. The bottom line, we talk about one team. What do we need to do? We need to see Mike Trout on the big stage, and what are we going to do? We're going to bolster the pitching staff and the bullpen and the starting pitching. So guess what? I have him going to Anaheim to go up there with Jose, uh, Mr. Inglesias. They just did yesterday. Pound these arms in that bullpen because that's when you get the late outs. Yeah, by the way, you're not wrong. They got Jose, too, by a trade. Um, I'm going to send him I down right. to the ATL. They just watched uh, Mark Melanson and Shane Green out of their bullpen move on. Um, I just like him down there for some reason, and I get it. People look at his stats and say, well, why, why do I want to pay a non-strikeout closer? Only 6.4 Ks per nine last year, his lowest strikeout rate in, in six years. Doesn't matter, man. They don't ask how, just if you get the outs. Just if. And he led all baseball and saves three years ago as well with the Rays. So the guy can get it done. Atlanta's right there. They don't mind spending a little money. So there you go. 